Hello students, in this video you will be learning about alpha oxidation of fatty acids. Now let us know the definition of alpha oxidation. It is defined as the oxidation of fatty acid with the removal of one carbon unit adjacent to the alpha carbon from the carboxylic end in the form of carbon dioxide. Let us take the example of titanic acid which is a branched fatty acid molecule. The carbon which is present adjacent to the functional group COOH is the alpha carbon and the carbon which is present adjacent to this alpha carbon is the beta carbon. As this beta carbon is methylated, this cannot undergo beta oxidation and therefore it enters into alpha oxidation process. There is no production of ATP and the peroxisomes are the cellular sites for alpha oxidation. The branched chain fatty acids are oxidized mainly in the brain and other nervous tissue and the carboxyl carbon is released as carbon dioxide. So there are uh, five different steps in the uh, alpha oxidation process. The first step is uh, activation of uh, phytanic acid to form phytanoil CoA. Second is hydroxylation. Third is removal of uh, the formal CoA. And uh, fourth is oxidation of uh, pristinal, pristinal. And uh, fifth is beta oxidation of pristanic acid. So let us see in detail about the alpha oxidation process. So in the first step, the phytanic acid is activated to form phytanyl CoA by the enzyme acyl CoA synthetase, where CoA is attached to phytanic acid to form phytanyl CoA, and there is utilization of ATP. This is the first step. And in the next step, phytanoil CoA hydroxylase oxidizes phytanoil CoA to form 2 hydroxy phytanol CoA. So there is utilization of uh, ferrous and oxygen in this process. Further, in the next step, the 2 hydroxy phytanol CoA is cleaved into pristinal and formal CoA by the enzyme 2 hydroxy phytanol CoA lyme. So the formal CoA which is released from this will eventually uh, it uh, forms uh, carbon dioxide and it is released. So pristinal it is further converted into pristanic acid by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase. Here NADP is uh, converted to NADH. The pristanic acid which is formed enters into peroxisomal beta oxidation. So finally, acetyl-CoA, propanyl-CoA, 4-8-dimethyl-nonanol-CoA are formed. So this is about alpha oxidation, which further enters into mitochondrial beta oxidation. Uh, therefore, uh, alpha oxidation is a very important uh, oxidation in the catabolism of uh, branched uh, chain fatty acids. And, uh, you can also say it is a methylated uh, um, fatty acid. And this is associated with uh, Repsom's, uh, Repsom's disease. Repsom's disease uh, is the uh, only defect uh, uh, in peroxisomal alpha oxidation. This uh, is an autosomal uh, recessive disorder, uh, which is uh, due to the deficiency of the enzyme phytanoil CoA hydroxide. This leads to uh, weakness, numbness, and pain, uh, of, uh, which is due to the nerve damage in hands and feet. And it is called as peripheral neuropathy. And uh, ataxia, which is uh, because of impaired uh, balance or coordination, and also leads to uh, uh, like uh, retinitis, which is inflammation. Uh, of uh, retina, retinitis pigmentosa, which leads to damage of retina in the eye and also abnormalities of skin and bones. Thank you.